This music is still stupidly catchy. And I actually know the name of the song now. I'm gonna put the name somewhere on here, but it's by the band Alien Weaponry. And it's a stupidly catchy song, even though I can't remember the, name, the lyrics. But this is just a little minor thing I wanted to do, so... But. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Phantasm Gaming, and welcome back to Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood. Now, before we get in game, there's a couple things I wanted to kind of touch up on that I didn't know, so... Bonuses. So, apparently, I got some extra stuff from the pre-order that I forgot about. So for example, some extra werewolf skins... And so that's the original, and then there's the Moonlight skin, Fall Spirit, Sandstorm, Iron Coat, and the Exiled one, which I'm going to go with that one. Jacket, there's Shadow Black, Wood Brown, which is the basic, Burgundy Red, Flaxen Yellow, Denim Blue, Shadow Black. I'm going to go with Red, and a Spirit Companion that I don't really know what it does, but it does something to help in combat, apparently. Zawardo. Right, so I actually did some research after recording this bit, and turns out that Spirit Companion, it does absolutely nothing. So, yeah. Ain't that good to know. <laughs> Alright, Toki wa ukitas. The song is still stupidly catchy. But anyways, so, let's get back in here. Kahal managed to destroy Endron's local training site. However, it is only a temporary victory. Other actions must be carried out to expel Endron from the region. Damn it, I was headbanging. Alright. That is... A little bit odd, but you know what? Alright. Okay, whoa. So I can see the little spirit in the... Alright. Is everyone dead, or...? It's kind of hard to tell. I don't see anyone else, so I'm assuming everyone's either dead or fled. Hey, that rhymed. So everyone's either dead or run off. Alright, sprinting puppy. Crouching puppy, hidden werewolf. <laughs> Garu Chronicles, Gaia. The mother goddess is the most ancient and most, uh, most powerful of all the spirits. Some legends say that Gaia gave birth to the Triad, while others consider the mother goddess as the fruit of the three cosmic entities. In the Garu cosmology, Gaia not only represents Earth, but the whole universe and the force of life that permeates through it. More than any other supernatural creature, the Garu are the warriors of Gaia. Created by the mother goddess herself, they watch over her and wage war that pits 
It's Gaia against the worm and its servants. Nobody here. But her computer's on. Alright. Andrew and Fever's death encryption the screening of Okay, that is some techno babble that I have no idea what it all means. Old notes from Ava before she created Lambda Mankind. Still don't get why you can't just think this stuff, but all right. Kahal. You know I hate it when people mess with my stuff. And you haven't changed in five years. That's an impressive amount of equipment. It's the bare minimum for leading a handful of activists against a megacorp like Indran. Haven't changed much, have you? Aside from a couple of new lines on your face. Thanks, asshole. You know, I always knew you'd come back. It was just a matter of when. This isn't quite the reunion I had in mind. But it's a happy one. I heard about your handiwork at the mine. Adana. Kahal? Oh. You must have a lot to talk about. I'll go check on the solar panels. She's... Catch you later. She's pissed at me. Adana, I... How are you doing? You've grown. It's not worth trying to rebuild that bridge now, Kahal. Shit. Not after abandoning me for five years. Uh, do I want to be on... I mean, let's face it, Kahal was kind of an idiot. She don't understand... Doesn't understand, you mean? I understand her. Yeah, I understand her. I'm sorry, Adama. Where do you think an apology is going to get you? You know, it was hard enough to get over Mom's death, but dealing with the fact that you chose to leave me behind when I needed you most, that left a scar. You were so focused on doing what you thought was right that you never thought about what it might do to me. I have to explain it to her. Anger is justified. I mean, her anger is justified. Kahal was an idiot. I'd explain it to her, like... I don't want to fuck this up, because... I don't blame you if you hold it against me. That's not what I wanted I to say! I stand by my choice. I spent those five years finding my way back to the man I was. Even if you were with me, I... wouldn't have been me. And you'd have been just as alone. I was in no state to look after you. I couldn't have been the father you needed. I wasn't. Stop, Kahal. I'm really not in the mood to hear you rewrite our family history. Endrin just carved a bloody wound into my cairn. They killed my friends. Right now, all I care about is tearing Endrin apart. Rodko told me you and Ava were undercover at Endrin during the attack. That's right. I managed to infiltrate the fracking site. They just upped my security clearance, too. I've got access to their protected data. This is the best chance we've ever had at taking Endrin down. We sink them from the inside. Doesn't realize the danger. Talk about... Um... How was it with Rotko and Ava? Honestly, it was hard at first. Rotko was... He was really mad at himself, over you going away, over Mom's death. He obsessed over my first change, trained me for months and months. But as we trained, I started thinking, I don't want to go through my first change. Are you scared? Fuck no. I just don't want to be a Garu. You're all too unstable. Mom wasn't a Garu, and she was one of the best fighters the Karen had ever seen. I think that's why I drifted toward Ava and her way of doing things. Fortunately, Rodko mellowed out after a while. Yeah, I mean... You're not wrong. I mean, look at me. I, The moment a single thing goes wrong, I immediately jump to ripping things to shreds instead of trying to sneak my way around. There are more humans. Rodko has indeed changed. So I've noticed. There are a lot more humans in the care now than when I left. It took him some time to come around. But he finally realized that Ava's methods serve Gaia just as well as his do. Now, he's got no problem with the idea of working with humans. 
or my choice to follow in mom's footsteps. So now, you know, this is kind of a bit of a random train of thought, but I've mentioned how this game reminds me kind of a prototype in the way of combat. Well, her hairstyle isn't helping, because she looks exactly like Alex Mercer's sister, Dana, from the prototype games. That kind of pixie hair cut. Right, mother would be proud of her. You really do take after your mother. Took me back at first. I miss her too, Cahol. I think about her every day. She would have been proud of you. If you say so. What is she looking for? She makes me proud too. I'm proud of you too. That's nice of you to say and all, but I know you didn't want me to follow her path. That you wanted me to be a warrior like you and Rodko. I don't know about that. But Garu's life has a share of problems too. I can't blame you for following your mother's example. She really was exceptional. She sacrificed herself for Gaia. And she didn't abandon me, so you know. Anyway, Ava and I will keep working at Endrin's fracking I site. We're gonna take those assholes down from the inside. Alright, so let's talk about the fracking site, because I need Endrin's more... built a fracking site. It was a rush job. They'd set it up and posted guards before we had any time to react. Okay. It's a danger to nature and the spirits alike. Those sites are one of the greatest threats Gaia faces today. It hurts my heart to work there. But I also know that I'm the best chance we've got of putting a stop to it. Soon. All right. Doesn't realize the danger. Ask about the plan. I've seen how bloodthirsty Endrin is. Did you know they have a price on your head? They're not the first. And they're not about to scare me into stopping. We've lost too many already. That's and if we fair. Run, how will we honor their memory? The pack comes first. Yeah. Besides, Endrin. Look at it. I'm a piece of. I'm a piece of shit, I'm Dad. Secure Forget that. <laughs> secure. Endrin has full confidence in me. Hell, the whole team at the fracking site looks to me for my expert chemical analyses. As long as I stay their golden girl, there's no way they'd imagine I'm connected to those scary eco terrorists. Least of all the Karen. That <laughs> just making me think of friggin' infamous, you know, oh, bio terrorists and whatnot. Anyway. All right, what's your plan? Like Endrin from the inside. And how do you plan on doing that? A while back, Ava, Rodko, and I discovered that Endrin's injecting its new recruits with a special serum that makes them more... T everything. Yeah, I saw it myself when I was in their training center. The injection transforms people. Makes them stink of the worm. Right, the parasite There's thing. There's more to it than that. When I first joined Endrin's ranks, I was trying to figure out what was going on with their biofuel project. Okay. But while I was analyzing the formula for the biofuel, I noticed an encrypted molecule within it. No employees have molecule. access to its composition. That what? same molecule is in the substance <coughs> they're injecting their troops with, as well as another project, the Earthblood Protocol. Roll credits. All right, the Earthblood the Protocol. Earthblood Protocol. Any idea what that's about? Probably poison the Not planet. Yet. But that can wait until after we figure out what this mystery molecule actually is. Once we figure out what that mystery molecule really is, we'll know what they're pumping their soldiers with, and their plans for this biofuel. Then we'll leak that info to everyone who'll listen, block the biofuel's launch, and hopefully put the final nail in Endrin's coffin. Thing is, right now the encryption they're using on their data is impossible to break. Okay. That's why we came back. We wanted to tell Rodko how we were stuck and figure out what to do from here. Yeah, I read Ava's letter to Rodko. How can I help? If you want to help, go meet with Ava. She and Rodko will be figuring out our next steps. All right, I'll go check in with her and then have a talk with Rodko. Any idea where I'll find her? By our solar panels. If you've got any other questions, you'll find me with the rest of the pack. They need me. Well, that reunion was a little chilly, but honestly, who can blame her? My Irish brethren, but that was a lifetime ago. All right then. Well, do I have any spirit points? No, I do not. All right. Puppy mode. <laughs> How you doing, big guy? Figured I'd get out of the way, let you catch up with eighty. Though from the look on your face. 
It doesn't look like it went well. No shit, Sherlock. She's still angry at me for leaving. Can you blame her? Shit, being a teenager is bad enough, but Luke Miller's death, your exile, it was all hard on her. It was self-imposed, but... You did what you but... had to. Yeah. You had to get away from us to get yourself back on track. That's what I tried to tell her. I've been telling her that for years. Never eased her pain, though. But you're back now. It'll pass. Just give it time. Adana yeah. told me about your mission to infiltrate the fracking site. Right, back to business. Enough yeah, depressing shit. about that. We're currently at a roadblock. Endron's data encryption is uncrackable. Yeah, I kind of got so that. She said. Our only way to get our hands on that data is to take it directly from the server in their lab. But surveillance is tight. Even is that where I come in? Get in there without being caught. And I don't think I could create a big enough distraction to draw their security's eyes away. So, how do you like being Rodko's oh, lieutenant? Right. Things were a little bumpy in the beginning. Rodko didn't like my way of doing things, so I had to assert myself. Deep down, though, I don't think he would have gone easy on anyone. Nobody could replace you in his eyes. You deserve it. Yet here you are, Rodko's right hand. I'd say you replaced me quite well. I appreciate it, but it was never a question of ability. Rodko just had to get over it, to learn to stop yearning for the past. It was a slow process, but he's finally managed to turn the page. That said, your return has done him a lot of good. All of us, really. He seemed kind of grumpy and change we can affect with you here possibly now. bitter about the eye. Keep that in mind. <laughs> How did Adonis' training go while I was away? Rodko tried to make a Garu out of her. But all his training didn't exactly bear fruit. Yuck. I know she doesn't like talking about it, but she says she doesn't feel the gift. What is, what's your opinion? Because I don't want to say she... I don't want to say Ada's wrong, because I don't know if she's wrong. So, what's your opinion, Ada? Do you think she's right? I think only time will tell. But all of Rodko's obsessive Garu training only pushed her closer to me. She's trying she to make an another. Was he trying to make her into another me? Wanted to know all about my approach to infiltration, my thoughts on humans, and she was a fast learner. Call it ego, but I used to think she was trying to be like me. Then I realized she already had a role model, her mother. Adana realized that I could teach her a lot of the same stuff her mother could have, so she stuck to me I can't like. Remember, can Ava turn? And then or... she shifted up a gear, studied at Caltech and Columbia University, and she did it all on her own. You should be proud of her. Always have been. Land of Mankind. Land of Mankind's really made something of itself, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. You're a little eco-terrorist. but thing. we've got a solid group. And our name's out there. The bigger we get, the more we can do. Still need to get public opinion on our side, of course. And that's not going to be easy, given the way Indran and its puppet media portray us. But the longer we fight, the better we can reclaim our narrative. The people will come to realize we're fighting for them in due time. Where have I heard that story before? From what Bug I've bit. seen, you've got an uphill battle in the court of public opinion. That's for sure. Indran's media mouthpieces have done a hell of a job of painting us as terrorists. But hey, it could work out in our favor in the end. If we bring Indran's abuses to light... Their smear campaign against you would just be one more strike against <laughs> them. Interesting. That Best fears. Donna taking action, the attack on the cairn. It's hard for me to ignore the parallels with the day Luke Miller died. I suppose the infiltration strategy doesn't exactly help things, huh? And I'm gonna be open. I'm not gonna be this lone wolf. I'm trying to rejoin my clan, not go back to being isolated. Is that a xenomorph on the back of my jacket? That <laughs> looks like a chestburster. Yeah. I'm terrified that we might somehow see a repeat of five years ago. Don't worry, Gahal. Even if the broad strokes are similar, the details are completely different. We lost Ludmilla because we didn't know that Indrin was working with the Black Spiral Dancer. Piece of shit must have realized Ludmilla was one of us. Nothing else could have. There's no way in hell that's happening again. Black Spiral We've Dancers. Checked I'm trying Indrin's to remember security what those are. all their sites around Tarker's Mill. There are no black spiral dancers, not one. Adana's got this. She'll be safe. 
Black Spiral Dancers, if I'm remembering my Werewolf the Apocalypse lore right. They're Garo who joined forces with the Worm, right? Instead of fighting for Gaia? I don't remember exactly, but that's... The fracking site's too well protected. It's yeah. too much for two people. Right. Rodko must not have been easy to convince. What's Rodko think about you two going undercover like this? As you might imagine, he was a little resistant at first. But once he understood what we Stuck wanted in to his do, ways, I'm guessing? he gave us the green light. Sounds like you've got something in mind. If we want to draw security's attention, we have to hit them hard. Blowing up the refinery should do the trick. Ooh! But that's not happening until we can get into the fracking site. Oh. That's step one. Damn. The site is protected by an electric fence and a myriad of cameras, all of which are powered by the dam Indrin acquired when it bought the site. Now, the wheels are turning in my little wolfy brain. Network, I could access <laughs> their system discreetly. Allowing you to cut the power to their defenses without their notice. Exactly. Oh. We can worry about the fracking site after that. See, I was okay. thinking blow up the dam, but Rock, okay, that works. See, how he wants to make up the teams. Thanks, see, this is why I'm not the stealth Good guy. Have you back. But if you don't mind, I'd like to take a few moments for myself. Lost some friends during the attack. Don't worry. <coughs> take we all, all did. The time you need. All right. So now who do I talk to? Rodko. Yep, Rodko. All right. Okay, I don't take fall damage. That's good to know. Also, have things I just replenished? Can't get my head around the fact that we just buried Iron Wind. Me neither. I figured he'd be the one burying all of us. Is there more booze or crossbowbolts around long the place? Way to go. But life's picking up again in the cairn. With Mila, I hope you can see this wherever you are. Nice. Crossbow bolts. Obviously a front, but they've got the public eating out of their hand. Just brought their supplements to market. <laughs> I'm just gonna drink all the booze. <laughs> I'm gonna be at full rage for the next fight. I'll make good use of that. Lab of theirs is still under construction, and their security is full of holes. Hello. It's the perfect time to stage an attack. We split into three teams. Every step the forest loses is one the worm gains. Alex, Danny, Quinn, you three create a diversion at the east entrance. Everyone stay in contact. If we hear even a whisper of trouble, we're out of there. Be ready to act as soon as I hear from our Hello? How are things on your end? We're holding up, but I'm afraid our problems are far from solved. One less problem, now that you're back. It's been too long, brother. Alright. Well, Raiden's up and about. <laughs> the one-eyed thunder god. <laughs> I know his name's so, not Raiden. Keep were coming. you able to talk with your daughter? Yeah, she's understandably mad at me. Never yes. thought I'd have a chance to say this after I left, but I'm glad to be back among the pack. Me too, Kahal. I'm glad to have you. That's especially a... right now. That I smile your choice to leave. <laughs> that is a passes, jarring. But you know as well as I do that your place is here. You are my right hand, Kahal. After what you did at the mine, I'd say you still are. That's Ava's place now. I know. And she's a fine fit for the role. But you and I, we have a different bond. Whether I go or stay, Rodko, that bond will always remain. I truly hope so, Kahal. What is it with God... Does the... I don't know, it feels like Rodko and Kahal are the exception, but... Are werewolves just allergic to shirts? I had a chance to talk to Yufen for a while. It's hard to believe the state the spirits are. What do you mean by that? Are you here to tell me I let them down? No, no that's no. not it at all. I just want to know what happened. Fen will tell you that I turned away from the spirits to focus on the pack. On Adana. It's true, in part. I needed to keep the pack unified. But okay. I never abandoned the spirits. I did everything I could for them. But I never had the sort of connection with them that Rafiq had. And the worm. Whoops. His influence is spreading here. It's spreading everywhere. But we're all fighting against it as best we can. But as long as Endrin stays here, the worm will remain strong. 
It will try to corrupt our minds, to weaken Ifen and the spirits. Okay. Miller's I letter. read the message you left on the Miller's grave. I didn't know that you. I never should have given the green light for that mission. Never. I'll blame myself for the rest of my life. If I hadn't made that decision, my sister would still be alive. And you, you never would have left. Wasn't your fault, Rodko. How could you have known that Endrin had set a trap for us? I'm the leader of this pack. It was my job to know. You can't punish yourself like this. Even Ifen didn't see it coming. Ifen is not our pack leader. I was the one who made the choice, not him. And I've got to live with that. I don't know, is it just me or does Rodko sound like Geralt? My daughter's mad at me. Yeah. As you might imagine, there's still a lot of tension there. Between the attack on the Cairn and your sudden return, She's going through a lot right now. Give her time. Ava said the same thing. I hope you're both right. Someone tells me this is going to be a very dialogue episode. They told me about their plan to get their hands on the encrypted data inside the fracking site's laboratory. To bring Endrin down from the inside, yes. I think they've got the right idea. If we manage to chase Endrin from this region, they'll just continue their dirty work elsewhere. It's time for a decisive blow. So we follow Ava and Adana's plan. We'll attack the dam to bring down the defenses of the fracking site. It's blowing up the dam. Want you to the incursion? You coordinate with Ava and Adana over comms, and allow them access to the dam's network. Ava gave me the rundown, but if I set off a single alarm, things will get very dangerous very quickly. I know. One sign something's amiss, and Tank Girl will be at the dam before you know it. So while you're sneaking through the inside of the dam. I'll be creating a diversion. So she's on actually the outside. at the dam. That should keep her attention off you. And even if someone does raise the alarm at the dam, Tank Girl will have no idea why you're really there. Good. Right. You can count on me. Excellent. This is a we'll stealth mission. I don't think it's going to go well. He's got the relays you'll place to get Ava and Adana access to Ingrid's network. I'm not very good at stealth sometimes. Sometimes things just go horrifyingly wrong, and then next thing I know, I'm shifted into beast mode and start ripping apart everything. 